This morning in our series today, Climate, groundbreaking research about the air we breathe. This summer, we had a dream team of scientists from around the world coming together to study air quality and pollution. They collected data from space all the way to the streets of New York. And this morning, we've got a firsthand look at just what they found. It's been a summer of extremes. Heat waves, wildfires, drought, and some of the worst air quality ever recorded. Air quality unhealthy from the wildfire smoke alone for 98 million people. Natural disasters playing out around the globe. You can think of climate change as a force multiplier. According to Dr. Rick Spinred, administrator for NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The climate crisis impacts our day-to-day -day lives from the food we eat to the air we breathe. Yes, of course, we've had floods and fires and drought in years past, but never to this extent. This summer, scientists from NOAA, NASA, and 21 universities from three countries embarked on a first-of-its-kind mission to tackle air pollution, taking measurements in a campaign known as Sidewalks to Satellites, combining data from the streets of New York with NASA's new state-of-the-art Tempo satellite. University of Colorado researcher Brian Carroll describes one of the airborne missions. There's a variety of pollutants that we are able to measure and ultimately these pollutants are involved in ozone production. Ozone is really important for air quality. It can directly affect your lungs. You can feel kind of a burning sensation. The team collected data through the months of July and August. Brandy McCarty is one of the lead scientists on the project. One thing that was interesting about the measurements that we had there was the weekend weekday effect. On a weekday, we found ozone values on the high end of the spectrum, while on a weekend, we found values in the background or on the low end. Our measurements show that our human behaviors contribute to our air quality. Then it was time to hit the streets. NOAA scientist Audrey Goodell heads up the one-of-a-kind air monitoring program called Air Inequality NYC. You have the white tubes that is sucking the air to measure ozone. And then you have a Teflon tubes here that is sucking the air to measure particulate matter. Uh -huh. And I will have an app that will be reading the particulate matter on uh -huh. my phone. So you, we will be able to see the number uh, while we're walking. Oh, cool. Today, we're walking through Harlem. We wanted to, to target diverse neighborhoods. So Harlem ha has like this diversity in, in parks, but it also has a lot of urban streets. One of the project's goals is to share findings with local leaders who can be better informed about the health impacts on residents in the neighborhood. We're here at the corner of 138th and Frederick Douglass Boulevard, and the air's still looking pretty good. Yeah, it is, yes. Does that surprise you? It does, actually. How come? Because I would expect probably in the afternoon uh, with the sunlight um, and cars all around to, to have uh, a pretty bad air. We finally found the bad air. And to no one's surprise, it was down in the subway. Now it's up to 20. 20, yes. And what's the limit? 35. 35. So it was a big jump coming down here to the train station. Yes. So Audrey, what do you hope will come out of this? So I think the most important thing is to have um, very tangible and accurate data that, that the public and community members can use to better understand the air they breathe. Hmm. In, in fact, data collected from this campaign is currently being analyzed. It's going to be ultimately, ultimately available at our fingertips. Wow. You know, uh, the, the AQI Air Quality Index mm -hmm. app that we've all been checking yep. since those wildfires. Yeah. Well, it's become one of the most reliable and popular tools to track air quality. Data from this project is going to be used to enhance that accuracy and inform government agencies and local governments who are responsible for public health mm. to be able to take action. So it's something that's going to be so really good. Helpful. It is very reassuring. Sure. Yes. You know, living in New York City and raising my kids here, <laughs> yeah. that it's that not as okay. bad as I thought it yeah. Yeah. would be. And listen, as much as we talk about start today and we're telling everybody about, you know, going outside and walking, we want our air that we breathe yes. to be uh, in a good state. So I'm so happy they're yeah. doing the work that they're doing. That was great. Yeah, was All right.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.